gonna go ahead and go order her favorite drink. I don't- is her- don't tell me hers is like water or something. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Sailor, and welcome back to my channel, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Legacy Challenge Part 28. So before we get into this part, I do want to say a few things really quickly. Number one, follow me on my Simbler. I'm really loving doing it, so you guys should definitely check me out on there. As of right now, I haven't, like, updated in a while, but yeah. And I also want to say, if you guys didn't know, I'm sorry for not uploading during the week, but midterms are coming up, so that means I'm really busy. Even though I'm not studying, I'm still busy because I have a lot of homework and I gotta get my grades up for the end of the semester. You know how it is. And yeah, I should be studying, but you know, I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm a procrastinator. I procrastinate sleeping sometimes. But anyways, when we go into the house, you are gonna notice that the rooms are a bit different. And if you guys didn't know, when the new year began, I cleared out my mods folder because I'd been wanting to do it for a while and I finally decided to do it. So this is a good thing. And I feel like it's a lot better now because the Sims, they when they age, they actually look older, which is good because I actually like this. <laughs> And also the Sims do look very different and their personalities are so different. I am absolutely in love and I hope you guys are with them too because, you know, Legacy Challenge does mean 10 generations. I'm, I'm uh, okay, enough rambling. Let's just get into it really quickly. Okay, you know, the downstairs. I don't really want to show you to the downstairs because the Sims are here and I don't want you to see them. Okay, quick look. It's just like that. And this area right here is pretty much the same going upstairs. I'm actually going to fix the upstairs uh, um, living arrangements, room arrangements, and who's sharing rooms with who because I completely forgot that the twins aged up and we have a bunch of teenagers in our house. As you guys can tell, we're super broke. But yeah, so this will officially, this will stay, um, I forget her name. I haven't played in a while, you guys. This will be Natalie's room. Natalie will have a room to herself. This I'm going to make I don't know if I want to make, okay, so for sure I'm going to make the boys share a room because I both want them to like have their own little gamer boy room. I think that'd be so cool. And so that does mean the girls get their own room, but I don't know which room to do it in yet. So we'll see. Definitely though, if it does happen, I'm probably going to have to like move this wall back so then this room or whichever room the boys have will be the room both of them but as of right now this is Liam's room and then this is the twins room just for now until I figure this whole situation out I just really wanted to record and I'll probably fix it at the end of the part or off camera so here we have Claire who looks absolutely so different like I feel like she doesn't even look like their mom like do you guys see this but yes this is Claire she looks super different she's super cute though love it and of course Liam looks the same he's still at work Liam looks the same other than he's like super tan now which is great because for some reason he was really pale Natalie who is at work and guys we have Liliana here who is freaking adorable like <laughs> She's so cute, guys. I love her. She is definitely one of my favorite sims I've ever made. Like, she's so different from how I make all of my sims. I don't know where the inspiration- I think Degrassi, hello, season three just came out. <laughs> but that- I don't know. I feel like that was kind of my inspiration for her. But she's really different, and I think she's super cute. And I don't know. I just really like her because she's, you know, like I said, for the 50th time, she's different from all of my other sims. And then here is Nico, who is, he came out a lot better than I expected, so I'm not complaining, really. But they are at work, so that is fun. You and I have it always. And when we're around town, since this was an old save file, there is going to be a bunch of people with, like, missing hairs and such. And whenever we see his girlfriend, we're definitely going to have to be like, yeah, you need a makeover. So whenever we see her, which I think he does go to work, okay, in three days, which is fun fine and actually what we are going to do is work a bit on our gardening our little garden over here we're gonna go ahead and water and then we'll go ahead and see if she would like to hang out although it is getting kind of late and you guys can see a little bit of natalie here but <laughs> she looks completely different so we're gonna go ahead and invite her to hang out we won't go anywhere too crazy tonight just have her come over so i can give her a makeover i don't know why there are so many blue sims that's actually a little alarming 
if I do say so myself. But Elsa, please come on over. This could take a thousand years to give her a makeover, so I'm probably just gonna do her everyday wear because that's all we see pretty much. And he is lacking a little bit of fun, so he doesn't need to say hi to his girlfriend. He can just come over here and go play a multiplayer game. I will go ahead and play with everybody in the household right now. Awesome, a broken toilet that we don't have money to fix. This is great, I love being poor. Here comes our girlfriend, naked. Love it. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. Testing, <laughs> testing, cheats, true, true. And let's go ahead and go modify her and create a sim. And I guess I'll bring you guys along with me because everyday wear shouldn't take too long. I don't have that many clothing items to go through. And I kind of know the style for her. Very pink and girly, which is pretty much like Natalie. But, you know. Yeah, I was about to be like, this is her traits. Wow, what terrible traits. But over here, Elsa. Super stunning girl, if you guys remember. I know you do. Um, I'm just going to give her like a quick just a quick little dress or something I think would be fine even though like in Windenburg all the girls have this particular dress it's fine she's actually super skinny though just a little bit you guys she's a it's alarming how skinny she is okay um I don't know what to give her you know just something obviously just just something for now um okay I don't really I mean I like that but just not for her I feel like it the the jacket makes it a little too businessy. <laughs> businessy, you know, you guys. Um, I kind of I don't want her color scheme though to kind of go with Natalie's because then I'll feel like that'll be a little bit too much pink and happy girliness. So I think we'll just have to go with a dark shade of pink. I don't know, you guys. I'm just doing this super quickly, but she's really skinny. <laughs> um, I think this is fine. It's it's a lot different from what she wore before. I know. Who socks and sandals bring them back, am I right? So it was a lot different from what she wore, but you know, we're working with what we have here, which is not a lot, so. Just something really quickly, you guys. I'm not really too concerned about what she looks like because we really don't see her as often. I remember her being blonde, which is funny because Natalie is blonde too, so you know, a little bit weird. I do like that one hairstyle though that she had on. I don't know, bangs just don't look good on her, oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've been really obsessed with putting my sims in bangs, so. It's kind of bad, but at the same time, I really like it. I don't know, it's just something about it, it looks so good on my sims. I don't know, I guess it's because bangs are kind of in now, That you know what I mean? I don't know, it, it just depends on what your style is, like if you're into the whole grunge, modern look, or whatever you want to call it. But if you're into like, baddie i think that's like you know instagram baddie stuff like that then definitely probably not bangs <laughs> i don't know you guys okay see the hair is what messes me up and takes a while um i like this one though i think that looks nice or that one but i really like the straight hair look on her i don't know i, th I think there was one that really caught my attention was it this one no, maybe... I don't know, I'm getting sidetracked, okay. I think this straight hairstyle is fine. It's kind of like plain, but it's fine. It'll work. <laughs> and these cat earrings, you guys, are super cute. We'll just give her some lashes, maybe a necklace or something. That looks awful. Um, That looks awful as well. <laughs> I don't know, you guys, just like something really quick. I keep saying that, but like this is taking a thousand years to do. <sighs> Unpredictable. I mean, actually, that I totally predicted this. Okay. Um, this is her. For some reason, her eyelashes look a little weird. I think her eyes are kind of weirdly shaped. Not, not in a bad way, I'm just saying. It's different from most Sims that you would see. That's all I meant by that. And we'll just give her some of that. Some blush. And some pink lipstick obvious obvi you guys okay and that is her elsa bergerson thank you guys thank you i'll see you guys next time bye guys <laughs> we're just gonna leave her out there because everybody is having quality bonding time oh okay she just walked in she said i do not like to be kept waiting i am coming in um anyways because they're having you know quality bonding time okay never mind at this point it's just 
It's just her. <laughs> I forget her name. I gave her a wedding ring, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, oh, okay, now they brought out their <laughs> quality bonding. Family bonding in this super small, uncoordinated color room. It's great. <laughs> I probably should have put the gaming system downstairs, but like I said, I wanted the boys to have their own little game room, which I don't think will work. Okay, you guys, I love this house so much. But, like, the room sizes are so bad. I really don't like the sizes of the room here. Like, the study is freaking bigger than the kids' room. I don't like that. So, what I'm thinking is making this... Oh, I don't know, you guys, because I had so many ideas. I really liked making this, like, the kitchen slash dining room, this room right here. But at this point, I don't think that's going to work. Um, I mean, I, I could still do that, but I really... I don't know, you guys. I'm tired of moving houses, but that's probably going to be our end goal is... We're probably going to end up... This will not probably be our final house, if that makes any sense. But with the money we have right now, I don't know, you guys. I don't want to decorate this house and then move out again. Like, that's getting kind of annoying. But I don't know. It's just it's so small. I could definitely expand on it, though. I should probably do that. But I'm so lazy me. Um, I don't know. I, I think it would be really cool to make this, like, the boys' room and, like, just do fun stuff with it. And then upstairs, I could kind of make merge a little bit of this room to be her room and then make this a little bit to be her room you know when i say her you guys know who i'm talking about and then here's josh who looks exactly the same he's going to go shower oh my god we have so much money josh thank you i love you this is why i chose you over what's his name jay huntington so it says joshua has been promoted to command center lead he will now make additional 17 simoleons per hour Oh, she's home. Look at her. So happy to be home. Looking good with no makeup. Um, but it says he will now make an additional 17 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 71 simoleons per hour. He also received the following bonus, 869 simoleons, which is so nice. Yeah, the star sinking original blue prints and track satellites on the telescope. His next shift is on Friday. So let's see. She made 160 simoleons, which can barely repair this toilet, actually. So nice try. But let's go ahead and have her go repair it, although she really doesn't want to. Actually, that's fine. We'll just make her dad do it because I'm pretty sure her dad needs to anyways. So she's going to go ahead and go eat. I hope she's, like, good for school tomorrow. Oh, t kidding. She didn't even do her homework which is what I was afraid of, but it's okay. It's fine. We need the money, you guys, more than anything. And somebody ask her to leave, please. Go away. Goodbye. You came. You did what we needed to, and you are gone. Josh, seriously, go repair this. And you, if you are so tired, then, okay, first of all, why are her needs so, like, amazing? Oh, gosh. New beds is everybody sleeps in the wrong bed, but... It'll be fine. It'll all be worked out and she can go to bed. I honestly have no idea why her knees are so like amazing, but she's going to go to sleep here and you are going to get up and go to sleep here. I have no idea why he's, oh, rage quit for being a sore loser. If games are supposed to be fun, why do they make Liam so mad? Oh, and I really like his bed kind of thing. It's a custom content thing with couches like this. It's kind of crooked, the couch. I should fix that, but... Oops, wrong button. Okay, I'll do that right now then, actually, because it could bother some people. And yeah, I didn't even notice it was like that. Oh, he woke up. Go to bed. Just go back to bed. Go back to bed. Um, can you guys not get to your beds? Because I will admit they are in a kind of weird situation. Oh, no. Okay, I think it's because I moved this they woke up. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so everybody's going to bed, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, I kind of started speaking a little too early, but good morning, guys. The twins woke up at the same time. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Do twins really think the same thing? Okay, and he's going to come down here and go ahead and go use the toilet and then go eat. It's probably cake, yep, because, you know, Sims are living the life, really. But everybody's just kind of... I can't speak, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so annoying. But everybody's just going to kind of be doing their morning routine, which is great. And nothing too interesting and i kind of don't want the part just to be me rambling so i'm gonna go ahead and wait until the kids go to school to start playing and yeah if that makes any sense i'll see you guys in a second since we didn't really get a look of natalie's outfit this is kind of what it is i was going for like super tumblr super cute super pink and i actually really like it 
I was kind of hesitant about the band-aids, but I really like them. They're super cute. <laughs> super cute. Super cute. Okay, guys. I really don't have any other adjectives, but um, I really like them. And I never really, I can't really ever find myself in a situation where I need to use them. You know what I mean? Kind of like that. I don't know. I've been wanting to use them for a while and I finally found the opportunity. So I was like, I'm going to take this opportunity. I have no idea who she is talking to. So since neither of these two have work for the whole day and the kids will oh <gasps> okay guys <laughs> i'm just gonna save that because i would really um she wants to so i have absolutely no problem with doing it but we are gonna wait a little bit just i don't know and i feel like this if they do have a baby if she does get pregnant that kid is gonna be so like the age difference between this kid and its siblings because the rest of the kids that we have right now they're all teenagers and they're all quite close to each other as to birthdays because we have the twins and then the other two i don't know i just did their births like really close to each other i don't know why i always do that but i don't know i think it'd be really fun to have another kid boy or girl will there be more girls or boys like you know are they, is it gonna break the tie i don't know i think that'd be so fun you guys should let me know i'm totally into it totally interested but anyways we're having a little date night and i decided since we haven't visited san my visited that's the right word right since we haven't been to san my in a while i decided why not let's go there and although we're not going exactly directly into the city because it is kind of middle of the day and i feel like that's a little weird there's not any festivals or anything going on so i think hanging out at the maishuno meadows would be pretty fun and there's quite a bit to do here so i'm totally down for it but with that being said definitely my favorite part about this whole lot which is kind of funny because it's kind of a big lot there's a lot to do here but I really like like this little area right here. It's just sometimes there's never a mixologist, which is so weird and kind of on my on my nerves. <laughs> That's the word. But yeah, just really like coming here. So hopefully if we go sit here, okay, no, she needs to use the toilet as well. But hopefully by the time they go over there, there'll be somebody working the bar. But I didn't even know that place existed until I watched um, Urban Simmers let's play on it and i was like wow that's a really cute area so i really like this part and also the garden but i haven't really been to the garden like too much in my free time which i think is over here haven't really gone fishing in this area either but you know the garden there's really not much to do so we're just gonna leave that alone for another time and we're running on over hopefully somebody's there up uh, nobody's there we should maybe go hire somebody is that what it is okay but we really don't have any money to be spending anyways so they're just gonna wait there maybe go chat a little bit let's go tell a funny story okay listen little girl okay i was about to be like why aren't you in school sweetie tell a little inside joke i guess kind of get their friendship up because they're a little romantic relationship is up a bit more okay there comes the mixologist but anyways i just want to see what food stalls are open i definitely can't wait until i can play a little bit more with my city living let's play because that let's play has been i'm only like part five and like everybody else is on like part 30 so i'm kind of slacking a bit but she's gonna go ahead and go order her favorite drink i don't know how much that is or what it is so this is a learning experience and he'll go ahead and go do the same Wow, twinsies. <laughs> 41 simoleons. Should have just stayed home. Played some video games in Liam's room. That's all. I almost said Josh. <laughs> oh gosh. It's, oh, look. And she's even playing some music for us. I turned off my mic because I don't know if you could hear my family in the background. They're being extremely obnoxious. But it's her. Don't tell me hers is like water or something. She got water, so that means this sea splash right here, Josh, is forty-one simoleons. What are you doing with your life? Ay ay ay. And I'm having them meet some people at school just because my sims are so antisocial, which is 
funny but we should go scare off the tourists i'm totally kidding because we are tourists are oh my gosh i thought it said it's liam's birthday i was like guys this is the best time <laughs> but anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this part and if you guys did definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to be notified when the next part comes out and make sure to check me on all of my social media bye guys and thanks for watching Thank you.